welcome to part three in my series documenting running a wide range 1x10 drivetrain using Shimano Altegra 10 speed shifters. In part two of the series, we achieved an 11 to 51 tooth cassette using the Shimano M5100 11 speed rear derailleur and a 10 speed wolf tooth tan pan. And you know, it shifted pretty well. I was happy with it. I've rode it for over a year, but I wanted to try uh, one more experiment. And this one is probably the easiest, most budget friendly way to get the wi widest range out of uh, your Shimano Altegra shifters if you want to go one by. But it does require a little work. This is the Sunrace RDM 900, often shortened to the M9. It's a 9-speed rear derailleur compatible with Shimano. It can officially run up to a 50-tooth cog in the back. And uh, we already know that Shimano 10-speed road levers work fine with any Shimano 9-speed rear derailleur. So this should work without any sort of tan pan or derailleur extender like a goat link or a road link or anything like that there are two caveats to using this derailleur and I think both of them were covered by Russ in his path less pedaled video about this rear derailleur uh, the first is that uh, there's no barrel adjuster so you're gonna need to get one of those so you can adjust the cable tension and index your gears correctly you could put one either like you know up at your lever if you have external cable routing or you know if you have a cable stop on the frame or um, one that you put like into the rear body of the derailleur like I did and like a pair of these should cost less than $20 um, at the time of this video the uh, Sunrace RDM 900 rear derailleur can be bought for anywhere between like 30 and 45 dollars US. The second hurdle is this little plastic toggle switch for the derailleur's clutch. For whatever reason it will hit the cassette when you start getting into the larger cogs. I have no idea why it seems like a poor design that it would do that but fortunately it's a pretty easily solved problem. You just need to cut like a centimeter or so off of the lever. Uh, it's just plastic. I used a Dremel tool, but you could use like a nice sturdy pair of scissors or, you know, like the saw tool on a Swiss Army knife or a Leatherman, or you could probably even, you know, just file it down if your dad doesn't let you use sharp tools. Just always remember to wear eye protection. After cutting about one centimeter off of the lever, it's still functional, but the derailleur should now be able to run through the whole range of the cassette without any issues. Though it's officially rated up to 50 teeth, I got it to clear 51 with no problem at all. Now, I've put a few hundred miles on this setup, and it shifts better than the Dior M5100 did. Um, that could just be because you don't need to run a tan pan and the cable pull just works natively so there's no um, degradation in shift quality. Um, the clutch is not as strong as any of the Dior derailleurs I tried with a clutch. Um, I, ha I did drop one chain the other day. Um, I was going into a sprint and tried just dumping the whole cassette and it uh, it came off outboard on the on the crank and uh, that's the only issue I've run into so far after probably about three or four hundred miles um, you know if I was racing over chunky stuff all the time that might be a problem uh, but for most of the riding I do that should be fine I guess I just gotta be a little careful when dumping the whole cassette under load That's all I got. Bye.